Hello, good people of DSST. Happy Monday. Welcome to the fourth week of asynchronous learning. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use this awesome tool that turns your computer into a device that can sense sound. It's called a virtual oscilloscope. And so when you first open, you should get a pop-up window that says enable microphone. Um, if you don't get that, you can click on this little lock right here and it'll show up web, your website permission. Make sure that microphone piece is set on so that the actual um, oscilloscope, the audio oscilloscope, virtual oscilloscope can hear what you're saying. So as I'm talking, you can kind of see we already are getting a little bit of disturbance. Um, and so one of the most useful things that we can do is we can pause our live input. We can click on this key right here that says freeze live input. And so if I do that, you can see exactly what that looks like in an instant. And so when you're whistling, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do a quick whistle right here, you can actually measure how long that is. Like if we're calling these tick marks, right, and this is our period, right, we can say at one period is from crest to crest, it's going to be four tick marks. And you can see how that changes if I whistle a different tone. Let's do a little whistle here. Right, and so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six and a half tick marks, right, with that lower whistle. And so the questions are going to ask you to be able to define and talk about what that means. Finally, if you're a quiet whistler, you can change the oscilloscope gain, and this just changes how sensitive it is to volume. And if I whistle at about the same, um, about the same volume, you can just see that the waves get a little bit higher. It's a little more sensitive. So I hope that gives you all the tools you need to get started. As always, if you have any questions, please ask your teachers uh, when we're online. Thank you. Have a good one.